Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Last year, Google started testing a new uh, screenshot tool, screen capture tool, uh, in Google Chrome Canary, which is a pre-release version um, of the Chrome browser used for testing and experimenting. And this is enabled using a flag. Now, this is just a quick video just to highlight one or two changes now regarding the new screenshot tool um, in Google uh, Chrome Canary. As Google now has started testing a new uh, screenshot editor and tool where you can now edit your screenshots with a whole lot of new options, which is very similar to the Microsoft Edge's web capture tool um, where you can edit um, uh, some, uh, you have some options to edit your screenshot. Um, although um, the uh, editor in the uh, Chrome Canary browser at this stage has a lot more options and it's not a default feature and you must make sure that you have two flags enabled before you can try out this new editor. Now, to do this, as always, we just head to the Omnibox, the address bar, enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And I've already enabled them, but the two, the uh, two flags you want to enable to be able to test this out are desktop screenshots, which you just enter into the search, which says enables taking screenshots from the desktop sharing hub. Make sure it's enabled. And then the next one you want to uh, enable is uh, desktop screenshots edit mode, which says enables an edit flow for users who create screenshots on desktop. Make sure it's enabled. Uh, restart the browser to apply the flags, and then you can try this out. Now, I must uh, just mention this as a side note that this new uh, screenshot tool and editor is very, very unstable as its early days. So some features work, some don't, but I'll try my best to kind of get the um, idea across for you in this video today. So what we do is we head up to the uh, the uh, sharing hub in the top right of the Omnibox, and here you'll see screenshot. And if I click on that, I'm now going to capture, let's just capture this Google logo as an example, which gives me uh, an option I can download it. But for today, we're going to discuss edit where if we click on that now, uh, you will see we get a whole new uh, screenshot editor and tool at the top with a whole lot of new options. And as mentioned, this is very unstable. So I'm going to just click on that and there's my image. But you'll see now that the actual editor has um, been removed. So I've got to refresh the page to get it back. But then my currently my, uh, my screen capture disappears. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm just going to discuss some of the actual tools that you can use in the editor um, and just see if some of these can actually work. So you can clear canvas, as mentioned. You can crop, which will give you an option to crop your screenshot. But now, obviously, the editor has been removed again and disappeared, so I've got to refresh. So as I mentioned, this is quite unstable. You have your text option where you can um, uh, you can de decrease and increase the size of, the, of your text. You have some colors, some outlays here. You know, you can um, choose your different fonts, your, your outlay. And I'm just going to go for red and type something in, A, B, C. You get the idea. And once again, the editor's removed. So and you also see at the, uh, the, uh, the bottom right, you can clear canvas, which isn't working at the stage. You can copy image and export image. So those are obviously options that Google will work on. Once again, I have to refresh. And if we just go to the next, you get some... Um, little emoji here, which I'm finding if I try to put it on, I'm just getting this. I'm not actually getting an emoji. Um, but yeah, that's something obviously Google's going to work on. And you can add emoji to your, uh, your uh, screen capture. And then you have some other options here. Brush. Let's just try this out where you can obviously increase, decrease the size. You get some different colors. So there you go. There's a brush. And then uh, you get um, your line where let's try another color so you can you can obviously add a line into your screenshot and screen capture and then the last one I'm just going to test you is an arrow let's just make that a bit of a blue color and there you go you get the idea so those are some uh, a little options now in the new screen editor that Google is testing in Chrome Canary obviously yeah you can undo uh, you can redo, uh, zoom out, zoom in, and you can select. And then you've also got, uh, you can obviously select a circle 
and you highlight that with a circle or an oval shape and then obviously the same with a rectangle so as mentioned it's very unstable but it's early days and i will keep you posted as to the developments of this new screen editor but as mentioned it's quite similar to microsoft edges just a few more options very unstable at this stage and another difference with uh, uh, this uh, screen editor that's been tested now in chrome canary compared to edges web capture tool with the the editor options is this opens up in a new tab where the the uh, web capture on edge does not so i'll keep you posted as this uh, becomes a little a little bit more stable and google does a little bit more work on it but just want to let you know new screen editor tool now available in chrome canary that google is starting to test regarding the uh, screenshot tool and just make sure you have desktop screenshots and desktop screenshots edit mode those two flags enabled to be able to uh, try out and test this new option and new feature so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one